So QSIS Reflect Enterprise Manager is a remote management and monitoring tool for QSIS based AV systems. Now we've been building AV systems um, that are constructed from IT type hardware for many years now. And so we're starting to run into the same problems that the IT world has been dealing with for the last 15, 20 years, which is I have this huge fleet of devices, all network connected, but I need to find a way to easily figure out, A, are they behaving well, are they doing what they should be doing, and also manage them, make sure that they are all up to date, et cetera, and keep track of them. So Enterprise Manager is a remote management and monitoring tool for QSIS-based AV systems, so I can manage my QSIS assets and monitor any device that makes up my AV system. As long as there's QSIS in there somewhere, QSIS is really the data aggregator. The QSIS core grabs that data from either native QSIS peripheral devices or third-party peripheral devices, collects that all together and provides that as a single data stream up to our management software. We, we kind of have to cater to a few different audiences with a product like this, where we have traditional AV customers who really get QSIS and products like that and they want the depth and granularity of management within that solution and Enterprise Manager gives them that. But we also extrapolate and provide a, a layer above that where we are generating alerts that don't require customers to do any programming or have any knowledge really about how the product works. We're just using some of the intelligence inside the product to proactively, proactively generate alerts, notifications, etc., so that people can be forewarned about what's going on with their systems. It's very simple. We've tried to model this around traditional software services. Um, you, it, it's effectively an e-commerce transaction to get started. You can go onto our website, initiate a free trial, and be up and running in effectively minutes. We've learned during this process that end users um, have different purchasing desires when they're looking at a hardware product versus a software license or perhaps a subscription. Uh, and so we're, we're seeing that end users want to be able to own that subscription. But we're also acutely aware of the fact that in order for this to be successful, we as an industry have to make sure that everybody in the value chain is involved. So our business model provides methods for us to include everybody in that sales channel so that while they may not be shipping a hardware device or even shipping the software license, they're still involved in the process and are generating revenue from it. I feel a mix of pride and anxiety and everything that I think is associated with bringing something new to market. And not only a new product, but really a new technology type to an industry that is not yet uh, proliferated with products of this type. So it's, it's a period of learning. It's, we have the advantage of it being software based. We can evolve very, very quickly. The, 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 the sign up process has proven to be extremely straightforward. Everybody who's using it today has commented about how simple and easy it was to get up and running. So we're very excited about the foundational piece that we've laid now and where it's going to take us.